Hi, Mr. Ford here, and today we're going to be taking a look at solving algebraic expressions with single variable subtraction. Content covered in this video includes uh, solving variable expressions with minuends as the variable and variable expressions with subtrahends as the variable. Let's get started. So here we have an algebraic expression where our minuend, the larger number in subtraction, the number we are subtracting from, is a variable. We don't know what it is. And our subtrahend and our difference, the two smaller parts of our problem, we do know what their values are. Their values are 3 and 4. So we are subtracting 3 from x, and our leftover difference between the two is 4. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our problem the way we would set up any uh, solving for x, solving for variable problem, where we're going to put x equals on the line underneath. Then we have to deal with this negative 3. So this subtract 3. Similar to solving addition problems, we can then move this 3 over to the other side. But because the subtraction symbol is in front of the 3, this isn't actually a 3, it's a negative 3. When it goes to the other side of the equal sign, the other side of the equation, it becomes a positive 3, because if 4 is equal to x subtract 3, then x must equal 4 add 3. And so that's what we're going to write down here on our second line. Now that we have 4 add 3, we have a usable equation, a usable operation that we can solve, and we find that x equals 7. So when solving for a variable minuend, when the larger number or the left number in a subtraction problem is unknown, you can simply take the second part, the subtrahend, as well as the subtraction sign, take them to the other side of the equal sign. The subtraction symbol becomes an addition symbol over here, and we're left with a usable operation to solve for x. Next, let's take a look at a subtraction uh, expression, an algebraic expression, where the subtrahend, the smaller part of the problem, is unknown. So we have our minuend here, it's 13. We have our subtrahend here, that's x. And we have our difference, which is 4. Now, we know that x and 4 need to equal 13, because 4 is just the difference between 13 and x. So x must be smaller because there's something left over. And so what we have here is we have a negative x and a positive 4. These are the two parts that we know equals 13. Well, what we're going to do, I have my x down here already, is I'm actually going to move this negative x, the subtraction symbol, and x to the other side, and that's going to turn it into positive x. And then I'm going to take this positive 4, and I'm going to move it to the other side of the equation, which now makes it negative 4. And when I rewrite this with the x first, I'm left with x equals 13 subtract 4. I now have a usable operation. And so down here, I can write x equals 9. And so there we have it. When our subtrahend, our smaller part, is unknown, we can swap places with the, uh, the difference, because they are both the smaller pieces of the minuend, and subtract them as we would regularly subtract them. And the way we can check this is we can actually just write out our answer uh, for x in our original equation. So 13 subtract 9 equals 4. Yeah, that math checks out. And so we know that we have done this correctly. I'm Mr. Ford, and today we have been looking at solving algebraic expressions with single variable subtraction. Content covered in this video included solving for variables when the variable is a minuend and solving for variables when the variable is a subtrahend.